Good morning, Apple of God's Eye. How was your week? Awesome. Yeah. And the Zoom meeting yesterday? That was beautiful too. Beautiful presentations we had again. We give God the glory for the gift he has given unto us. God bless everyone that has been presenting. I've been having so much fun like I told you last week. And how was the Jeopardy game last week? Did you get 100%? You know what? It's okay to miss some. You miss some, but now you know everything. Uh, and we keep learning. So this week, since we are done with the revision now, this week we are going to take a new topic. And the topic says, God and my money. Can we repeat that? God and my money. And we're going to have a little activity. So I will want you to get some materials ready. Just as you were told at the Zoom meeting. Get an empty water bottle, a marker, googly eyes, a tape or a glue, and a cardboard paper. If you were not able to get those together, just the way we told you yesterday, if you can just quickly run around the house within a few seconds and get them together. Let me repeat the materials you need again. Empty water bottle, a marker, googly eyes, a tape or a glue, and a cardboard. Is that fine? Yeah. You'll be needing that for the activity we're doing today. You're going to have fun with Dami and Ebun as usual. So let's prepare for praise and worship and just get into the craft and learn what God expects us to do with our money. Thank you, children. Hi kids, it's time for praise and worship, so I want you to jump on your feet as we praise God. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not a one. No, not a one. No one has to heal all our souls. Jesus is. No, not a one. No, not a one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not a one. Come on! Woo! It's time for worship. Let's be in an attitude of worship as we declare our love for Jesus because He's worthy of all our praises. to be here today today we're gonna have bible study in crafts with dami and her boom okay so i'm gonna start us off with a little prayer lord we thank you for the grace to see this beautiful day we pray that as we learn about the wonderful characters in the bible and we work in some crafts 
that your name be glorified and that we learn something from today that's going to help us for the rest of our lives. We pray that we enjoy this moment, we have fun with each other, and we learn from you and from your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So first, we're going to start by introducing the topic. The topic for today is God and my money. Repeat it. God, God and, and my money. money. Nice. And our text is going to be taken from the book of 2 Kings 4 from verse 1 to 7. 2 Kings 4 from verse 1 to 7. So I'm going to start. Verse 1 goes, The wife of a man from a group of the prophets came to Elisha. She said, Your servant, my husband is dead. You know he honored the Lord, but now the man he owes money to is coming to take my two boys. He will make them his slaves. Verse 2, Elisha answered, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And the woman said, I don't have anything there except a pot of oil. Verse 3, Then Elisha said, Go and get empty jars from all your neighbors. Don't ask for a few. And verse 4, Then you must go into your house and close the door. Only you and your sons will be there. Then pour oil into all the jars, set the full ones to the side. Okay, so verse five. She left Elisha and shut the door. Only she and her sons were in the house. As they brought the jars to her, she poured the oil into them. When the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another jar. But he said, there are no more jars. Then the oil stopped flowing. Verse seven. She went and told Elisha, and Elisha said to her, Go, sell the oil and pay what you owe. You and your sons can live on what is left. Wow. That's a powerful story. Mm -hmm. And so, as we proceed with this session, with craft and Bible study, I want you to continue thinking about the fact that God will provide all our needs. God will provide all our needs. Now, while you think about that, we're going to proceed to crafts. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. Mm -hmm. So first, I want you to go grab your tools, like you were told in your last Zoom meeting. This is why you want to attend Zoom meeting, so you can know what's happening, so you can get some insight into what will happen the next Sunday. So yes, now I want you to go grab a water bottle, Oh boy. A stick of glue, a sharpie or a marker, little pink pieces of paper or blue. The pink can be whatever color you want it to be, or white or purple. Mm -hmm. And some eyes. And if you don't have eyes, you can draw eyes. We can show you how to draw eyes. Yeah. And a pair of scissors. So we'll give you 30 seconds to go find them. And go. Welcome back. I'm sure you now have all your tools for a successful craft session. So first things first, you're gonna grab your bottle. Okay. And you're gonna wrap it with a piece of paper. Okay. So you're gonna wrap it like so. Like so. You're gonna wrap it like this, and then you're gonna glue that piece together. So okay. I'm gonna get at that now. Sounds good. Okay, so roll, roll, roll. Okay, can we glue this together? <laughs> okay. And we have to hold it in place for a little bit so it can dry up. Okay, 
And if your glue's not working, get a piece of tape. We might need a piece of tape. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold my piece of paper so the glue can dry up. Mm -hmm. And remember to keep thinking, God is in charge of your finances. God is greater than poverty. And God is will provide greater everything. Exactly. You want ice cream? God is gonna give your parents the money. Mm-hmm. Gonna go to Wonderland next year. Still have the money. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is pretty stuck on there. Okay. So now we're gonna try and make the ears. Because we're trying to make a piggy bank. So in a separate piece of paper, I'm gonna have you draw two circles. Yeah. Two circles two. on that same piece of paper. But you can trace it out using the bottom of your bottle. Because it's a circle. Like so. So you trace it around. Doesn't need to be perfect. Trace it around. Then you take it again on the other side of the paper. Trace it around another circle, like so. So then you have two circles. Two. two circles. And then you cut it cut it out. Remember, we have to be safe with scissors. They're pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. and you can you ask your mom help? to help you. Exactly. Circle one. It's okay. Take your time. It's a sharp instrument. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Not sick. But yeah, so then you're trying to make half two circles that's gonna make ears for your piggy bank. Because you know, to be financially sound, to be responsible with your money, you need to save. And that's mm -hmm. why we're making a piggy bank today. Get it? Yeah. Yes. So we're gonna make a piggy bank to keep all our coins. So that by the time we're done this year, we'll have a lot of money to show our parents. You mm -hmm. ready? I'm ready. Okay, so now we have two circles. We're gonna try and make ears. So we're gonna fold down the bottom. I'm just gonna draw a line. So you see this line? Mm-hmm. We're gonna yeah. fold it down against the line like so. Okay, so I just drew my line. So it'll be like this. You see it? Yeah, like this. Maybe like this. You're gonna do that with the second one too. Okay, draw a little line. My line's not perfectly straight, but that's okay. Here we go. Okay. Just like that. Mm-hmm. So then it should be able to kind of stand like this, like little ears. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna stick them onto our, our paper. So, mm -hmm. if you wish, you can use glue or you can use tape. And here, just to be safe, I'm gonna use both glue and tape. Because I want to keep my money for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one ear. Okay. I put my ears on the wrong way. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Just taking a piece of tape and I'm gonna place it on the bottom there. Stick it to the body of the tape. Just like that. So my ears don't fall off. But if you have liquid glue, 
It might yeah. work so much better and you might not that's, even that's need to easier. Mm -hmm. And if mommy or daddy has a glue gun, even better. Even better. So ideally you want something like this. Yours probably yeah. looks cooler than mom. My but it's okay. Ears are next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next, we have ears ish. What's this big one? It's perfect. They're beautiful just the way they are. Mm -hmm. Up next, we're gonna add the eyes. Okay. And this is probably gonna be easiest with tape. Okay, so kids, I'm gonna show you how you can use tape to put your eyes down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you grab a little piece of tape like this and just roll it with the sticky part out. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Look. So it's sticky. The sticky part is out. Okay, so now we've rolled our tape. So we're gonna put it on the back of our eyes like we did the first time. And just stick it right there. Perfect. Just like that. Oh, my tape's not sticky anymore. I have to get new tape. Okay, so same process, just roll it again. And remember, ask for help if you need any. Talk to mommy or daddy or any adult that's with you at home. Put this there. Okay. This is cute. Currently, <laughs> this is what you want it to look like. <laughs> so next, we're gonna give it some nose because we need noses to breathe. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take your piece of marker or sharpie or whatever, and you're just gonna draw two little circles on the lid of the oh, bottle. Put it like that. So two circles, two tiny. So this is the kind of circle you want, just to draw like little nose holes, not straight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what your figure should look like. I hope it looks like a figure to you. It looks like a figure to me. Yeah. So now, for where you can put your money. For today, we're just gonna not bother and we're just gonna, you know, open the circle and put our dimes in there for now. Or roll yeah, our money roll into like money. tiny little scrolls and toss it in. However, if you really, really want, and you want it to look like an actual piggy bank, you can ask your mom or your dad or your auntie or your older cousin to please cut a little hole at the top so you can slot in your coins, your dollar, your toonies, your loonies, and put it in. But yeah, and if you also want, you can add, add a tail to it. But yeah. like, that's if you want to be extra. And yeah, this is the end of our craft. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely have fun making it. Good. So now we're gonna go back to our story real quick. Okay. So essentially, we have this lady who had a husband, okay. and then her husband died. Oh no. Sadly. Yeah. But then before he died, he owed some people money. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you owe someone money, they always wanna want. They always yeah. gonna want it back. I'm gonna want my money back. Exactly. So then. He passed on, he died, but then he still owed the man his money. So then the man came back, knocking at the woman's door and asking for his money, because I mean, they're still related. So he wanted his money from the man's family. So then, but they didn't have any money. So then he was like, okay, give me your son. So the lady was so, so scared. She was scared that he's gonna, he was gonna come, take her sons and turn them into slaves, which is bad That's because she's never going to see them again and yeah. they're going to suffer. So she was really, really sad about that. But she did something smart. She sought God to figure out how she was going to move forward. But in this instance, she asked the prophet. So in the same way you can ask a pastor, the That's same way you can teachers. ask, exactly, you can ask someone who hears from God, essentially, on how to move forward. She ran to God by listening to the prophet. And so she listened to Elisha, and Elisha was like, you know what, go ahead, take all the pots, empty pots you can find in the whole village, and lock yourself in your room, 
with your sons mm -hmm. and do what I tell you to do. So listen, she had to be obedient. She had to follow the rules exactly as they were said. Because imagine if she went and got the pot and she went to the front of the house and was like, oh, look, everyone, God told me to get this pot. It probably wouldn't have happened because yeah. people would be like, uh, she's what? She's crazy. Exactly. People would be like, she's crazy. <laughs> so she obeyed, okay? She obeyed, did what the servant said. She found all the pots. And like he said, he just said, keep he just said keep pouring oil and she kept pouring oil and it just never ran dry it just never ran out and that's the kind of god we serve someone who is more than enough the oil was more than enough to the extent that they ran out of pots and they had to stop so they didn't stop because there was no more oil they didn't stop because god stopped providing oil mm -hmm. they stopped because there was no more room to collect the blessing they stopped yeah. because there was no more space for them to receive what god had for them mm -hmm. in the same way we have to think about that for our lives as well and that's because god is more than enough god can provide all that we need and more even in this lockdown where people are looking for food and everything although we're coming back slowly back to society but yeah. still god has been the one providing for your dad god has been the one providing for your mom mm -hmm. So we have to remember that we have to obey God. We have to run to God in prayers whenever we're not sure about our money and all of that. So we want to be like this lady. Yeah. And be obedient. For sure. And yes. Do you want to tell us why it's important to keep our money or why it's important to care for our money? Okay. So the most important thing is because it honors God. So our money could be a gift if god gives us money we want to be smart with it right mm -hmm. we don't want to spend all our money on ice cream mm -mm. or spend all our money on candy mm -mm. we should do things that glorify god is mm -hmm. that right yes okay so when we keep our money we save our resources mm -hmm. for when we need them say your mom's birthday is coming up in three weeks and you get some money today is it a good thing to spend it all on ice cream mm -mm. no Save some money so you can buy something for your mom in mm -hmm. three weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's smart to save your money to prepare for the future and so you can pay your offerings and your tithes. If you have money, you're not too young to pay or to give to God, mm -hmm. okay? So if you get some money, tell your parents, ask them about how they get paid their offerings at church and tell them, you know, mom, dad, I want to give this amount of money to God. I want to pay my tithes, I want to pay my offerings. Mm -hmm. So yes, we it's a great idea to save our money. Yes. So your challenge for this week is to thank God for always providing for you. And anytime you feel like you're in need, anytime you feel like there is lack in your family, just talk to God because he's your father and you have power and authority and dominion over money. Amen? Amen. Okay. I'm feeling great about this week. I'm going to save up my money in my little piggy bank. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take a picture and send it to my friends too. Mm -hmm. So take a picture of your piggy bank, send it to us. And, you know, any questions you have, you can also send it to us. For sure. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Hello, children. So nice to be with you again today. How are you doing? I heard someone say fine. I'm very glad to hear that. So today we've learned that God wants us to have money and he wants us to be responsible with that money. He wants us to be faithful with it. And the memory verse for the day is, those who trust in the Lord shall lack no good thing. Psalm 34 verse 10. Let's take that again. Those who trust in the Lord shall lack no good thing. Now one more time. Those who trust in the Lord shall lack no good thing. Psalm 34 verse 10. And now I have a very special announcement. We are excited about Vacation Bible School. I am. So Vacation Bible School is now is going to be in August and registration is now open. For any questions, you can write to office at restorationhouse.ca or ask at the church office. This year is going to be virtual, so every one of us can attend. So children, I hope you have learned a lot from the days of today. I know that I have. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are always providing for our every need. 
We thank you for your blessings and your for, for your promises towards us. That it you be the glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I will pray, Lord, that even as we have learned about money today, that you see, as you go out on the week, that you help us to be faithful with our money in Jesus. And help us to be responsible, Lord. Help us to use it, Father God, for the furtherance of your kingdom and for the glory of your name. Father Lord, we ask in Jesus. And teach us how to manage our money, Father Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus. We also pray that you will teach us all things, even as you promised that your Holy Spirit will do in the name of Jesus. Go with us throughout this week, Father Lord, we ask in Jesus. Man, touch all that will do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.